listen, I know it's Saturday, but I figured I'd sneak another one in there because if you thought I was done with exclusive leaks this week, you were wrong. Because after showing you the Pixel 6 in the last episode, in this one, in this episode, you're gonna get a much better look at Android 12. Get our exclusive leaks even before the website's right about Hit it. Hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Fuppeta. Why did I agree to do this? The show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Listen, Toilet Squad, I know. It has been a crazy, super busy week for us here on the show. As I mentioned in the last episode, we gave you your very first look at both the Pixel 6 as well as the Pixel 6 Pro, which absolutely shook the internet a bit. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's also worth mentioning that since that episode went up, uh, the design that we gave you for Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro both have been corroborated by Max Weinbach, who has an amazing track record for Android leaks. So real quick, and I know this is not like me, but before we start the show, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all your support this week. So much work has gone into giving you this week's leaks, and I haven't slept much but it has been so much fun. Obviously, a huge thanks to Renders by Ian, who was also pulling all-nighters with me to get this stuff done for you. And also, thanks to my fiance, Karina, for putting up with my shit this week. <laughs> First of all, I'm sorry. Second, thanks, babe. Like, genuinely, I am just so grateful that I get to do this. I know stuff like this is super exciting for the tech community, and it is just so cool that I get to be the one to show you stuff like this. So I really mean it. For my little Jern heart, thank you. Whether you're brand new here, you just started watching, or you've been part of the Toilet Squad, you've been watching the show every episode for years. Thank you. Okay, that's enough. All right, this is gross. I w Let's be done talking about our feelings, okay? Let's do the next FPT special report. So listen, here's the thing. Uh, Google I.O. isn't even that far away. It's happening on Tuesday, May 18th. But what happened was, while we were working on that story for the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, we were also given some stuff from Google I.O. And at first I was like, nah, it's not worth showing it. <laughs> but I'm gonna show it. And I know there have been Android 12 developer previews happening for a little bit. You haven't seen much, but uh, you've likely seen some of the elements that I'm about to show you floating around here and there on the internet that have leaked. But listen, from what I've seen behind the scenes and also what I'm about to show you, Android 12 seems like a massive upgrade and even I'm excited about it. So, says the guy holding an iPad. So the first slide that we have here is just simple, just talking about what's new in the new version of Android. A beautiful new experience, stronger privacy and security protections, and all of your devices work better together. So I guess if Google had to like summarize everything about this newer version of Android in just a few sentences, uh, that's apparently what they picked. But it's the second slide where things start to get a little juicier. In this other slide here, you start to see a lot of the major UI elements and widgets, like this music and audio player widget, uh, which we made some slight changes to. You can also see the new brightness slider, um, along with the new Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles. Of course, then the volume and ringer slider as well. In the center of all this, there's a cute new analog clock widget as well as a new UI element to snooze or dismiss an alarm. Uh, there's a new weather widget in the top corner, which I actually like a lot. Something about this is just so clean and it makes me want it. I want this in my mouth. What? And of course, as rumored, as everyone was sort of wanting, uh, the brand new stacked notifications are here. Obviously, <laughs> We made some changes here to hide some of the names and stuff. But there you go. They've sort of featured all of this stuff on this slide for Google I.O. for... I don't, I don't really know the reason. I don't know why they picked this stuff exactly, but I'm sure we'll find out in a couple days. Now, that was pretty cool, right? That was fun, being able to see some of that stuff. I think uh, I think that by itself would make a pretty decent episode of a, of a tech news show. Uh, but this, <laughs> this is Front Page Tech. And at the end of the day, those are just a couple pictures of some UI elements and whatnot. Uh, wouldn't it be crazy? What what if what if I had actual video like an actual official video promo of Android 12? That would be that'd be crazy. huh? That would be weird if I had that. Uh, I guess you'll have to find out after I pay some bills. 
Hey, if you're a fan of this show, then you know that I talk about WeVPN a lot. It's because I really, really believe in what they're doing. And because they are uh, paying me. That is also a reason, but for real, do you know how many offers I get from VPN companies all over the place and I turn them down because I want to be able to promote only one VPN to you guys and I want it to be the one that I trust. WeVPN is made by veterans in this space, a group of guys that came from those other companies to start their own. A VPN that's fast and reliable, one that protects you and your data without storing any logs, one that keeps you from being tracked or traced, and one that unlocks content from your favorite streaming services. So if you love this show and you watch it every day, go give them a try and let me know what you think. It's just $2.69 a month right now. That's 73% off. And if you use the promo code FPT at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% off just for watching this show. Sure, there are other VPNs out there, but only WeVPN is a longtime supporter of this show. So go ahead, click that link down in the description to get started with WeVPN today. Okay, so welcome back. <laughs> wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny if, I, you know, I said that I had a video promo of Android 12, showed you a sponsor spot, and then didn't actually have the video. Oh, that'd be funny. What would, what would actually be funnier if I didn't have the video at all, or if I actually did have an official promo video of Android 12 that I've just been sitting on for weeks? <laughs> what would be funnier? Oh, look, uh, I do have the video. Okay, okay, listen, I know, I probably just turned your brain into mashed potatoes. Everything moves so fast, but there's there's so much to cover here. For one, it looks like they're changing how notifications are displayed in the top uh, notification bar, which has been one of my key complaints about Android since forever. So this is a very, very welcomed change. Uh, now, next to the clock, you'll see a number inside of a pill widget displaying the number of notifications you have that cleans it up. I want that. I love that. Yes. Obviously pulling that down will then reveal those notifications for you with more context as always. And if you're on the lock screen, the clock is now bigger than it has been. And since the clock is already front and center up where you would normally see the time, instead you'll see the same notification stack pill element. Uh, just without the time there. And oh, hey, almost missed this one. So it was really quick in the beginning. Almost missed this. Uh, new keyboard, it looks like. That looks new. Now, here's where things start to get a little weird because uh, a couple months ago, there were a few screenshots from within Android 12 that leaked. This comes from the XDA developers website. Uh, and in this screenshot at the top, it says the date, Monday, August 25th. Uh, the only issue there is that if you check the calendar for this year, last year, next year, that date does not exist. And the same can be said for the video promo that I just showed you. In this video, they display the year 2020. And at the end, under the clock, they display Monday, August 27th. Uh, and that does not check out as a date for last year, this year, next year, anything. It seems like maybe these were just mock dates that were put in the presentation just temporarily. So let's hope that uh, for the final stuff, you'll have dates that actually make sense in it. I really don't think it means anything deeper than that. So don't look too far into this. This is just, they're, they're just fake mock dates that were temporarily placed there. I think overall, my main takeaway from all of this is just how fluid it all looks and how fluid it all feels. Android 12 seems to be a major update. Also, I think I think this one is worth mentioning because in the last episode of this show, we gave you your first look at the Pixel 6. And as you saw in that episode, this is the front of that phone. And then at the end of this video presentation, it looks like it features the Pixel 6, not the Pixel 6 Pro, but like the regular Pixel 6. But to be fair, since we can only see the front here in this promo video, this could end up just being the front of a generic smartphone. Like this, this may not even be Pixel 6, even though it looks like the design would eat. Oh, wait. I just realized that the time displayed on the phone here in this presentation is 9.30. That is the same time that we used on the display for our renders. Because about half of the images, other than the hands-on images that we had, that we used for our renders for Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, showed this time. 
So is is this the same phone? I'm thinking that the Pixel 6 series won't launch until at least later this year. So I doubt that we'd be getting any sort of teaser look at the Pixel at Google I.O. in a few days. But listen, who knows? Maybe there's a surprise. Maybe they will try to surprise everyone on Tuesday. So there you go. That pretty much wraps up probably the biggest week of leaks in Fapata history. Monday with the MacBook Air. Thursday with the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. And today with Android 12 and Google I.O. So, you know, if you're not subscribed yet, you should probably go ahead and do that. See you guys next week.